G'day and welcome back to another episode, We're the Lifestyle Pioneers. If you watched our last episode, our very first one, uh, thank you so much. We're absolutely stoked with the amount of support and, uh, and feedback we've gotten from that episode. Uh, if you missed it though, if you're new here, here's what you missed. <music> Here we are. We made it. End of a big week. So we're just back at uh, back to where it all started last Tuesday. Back at back at Zone HQ. So then, back to Brisbane for a quick stopover, and then we actually shot down the <laughs> east coast in about five days flat. So why did we do that? <laughs> because Simon had a fishing trip booked in with the boys, and he couldn't so, miss his fishing trip. <laughs> Boys, if you're watching, it was worth it, don't worry. But yes, I had booked a fishing trip on the south coast of New South Wales uh, with a heap of mates of mine. We go every year. I wasn't going to miss it for the world. So, or uh, the east coast of New South Wales, <laughs> as it turns out. Happy to miss the east coast for it. Sorry, east coast. So, yeah, so literally five days from Brisbane back to Canberra. So, it was a pretty quick trip down and then out fishing with the boys. So, I'll show you some footage. We had a ball, we had a blast, caught some, hooked up with some good kingies, uh, got a couple of bonito as well. It was, it, it was worth it. She's, she's not convinced still, but it was worth it. All right, so fishing trip's done. What's next? Well, from Canberra, we headed back out to the Riverina. If you remember, that's where we'd left all of our stuff. So I picked all our gear up, loaded the van, and then the weight game began. So obviously then we put everything in it that we wanted to take. We took it out to get it weighed. What do you reckon? We're over. So Turn, Turns it, out I have a lot of art supplies. <laughs> so, but we did that on purpose. We put basically, first pack, we just put in everything we want, want to would want to take. We thought we were pretty ruthless. We thought we were being pretty savvy. And maybe we were, but we thought we'll just put everything in that we want to take. And then if we're over, we'll cut from there rather than just gradually adding things in. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. Who knows? But it worked out in the end. So we'll go into more detail in that. Like I said in another video, I'll go through all the weights and exactly what happened there. Um, and how we ended up coming in under and we are under we are legal we are insured and we are safe Which is which is the main thing the main thing. Yeah, so then we're in the river arena uh, We decide we're gonna catch up with some family and some friends before we head off on the trip proper I guess uh, and so we head down to Rutherglen, and That's where we catch up with some friends of ours 
who uh, own and run Stanton and Colleen Wines. Turns out I ring him a couple of days before we go on down there and they're absolutely under the pump with vintage. Being the good bloke I am and always loving an excuse to jump on a tractor and do something new, I put my hand up and said, I'll come down and give him a hand. So we've left the Riverina, driven down south, and stopped off at a little town called Rutherglen, really well-known wine region. We're going to hang around here for a couple of days, give them a hand for a little bit. They're a little bit, a uh, little bit under the pump, so we're going to jump on a tractor, hopefully, uh, give them a hand in the winery uh, with the crushing and the, and the fermenting of the. Uh, of the wines so looking forward to showing you guys a bit about that we've got ourselves parked up here bloody beautiful spot right out in the middle of the vineyard hopefully you can hear me over those crows this morning um yeah so gonna hang out here for a couple of days and then we're going to keep heading south down towards melbourne so looking forward to showing you all that Beautiful morning here this morning. The uh, sun is just coming up behind me over there. So, work day today. I got my work gear on and uh, heading down to give the guys a hand in the vineyard. Pretty sure we're picking musket today, which is one of my favorites. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> hopefully be able to show you guys a little bit of the process, uh, the harvest and then and then what happens next with the with the fruit so we'll take the harvested fruit into the winery crush it get it in the fermenters we're just getting the tractors warmed up this morning i got my coffee coffee made got the drone in the bag so hopefully get some drone shots of the harvester and that for you guys uh yeah let's go check it out and see uh see what this winery business is all about eh
So I don't know how well you can see in here, but this is one of the really awesome parts of the Stanton and Clean Winery where we are, is that they store so much of their fortified in traditional barrels like this. So all their fortified goes in these massive oak barrels. I don't know if you can see how big these are, but they're well uh, well taller than me. So thousands of litres that they store in these barrels and age it over time um, in muskets and ports and things like that. Let's have a look through here, see if I can find the light switch. And just every room you go through, there's just, I'll spin this around, there's just barrels just everywhere. It's, it's so freaking cool. And some of these barrels are, you know, this winery was established in, you know, 18, uh, 70, 1875, I think it was. And yeah, I mean, it just the history here, is, it's just awesome. Yeah, really cool. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, give us a like, give us a subscribe, do all the fun things that make it better for us and easy for you. And if you want to see what's coming up in the next episode, next week is going to be a full interior walk around of our brand new caravan. Can't wait to show you guys that, our new home that we've got here. And then the travel episodes will continue the week after that. So stick around, hit subscribe so you don't miss out and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys. Peter here from Champagne Fishing. Got my good mate from the Lifestyle Pioneers. This is Simon Bailey. Hello. We call him Bales. What are we doing today, mate? Oh, we're going to go catch some big fish, mate. We're going to get yeah. lots of big fish. Target species? We'll probably hit the shelf, get some marlin, uh, maybe even hit a few tuna up. What are you Oh, it's going to be a great day, mate. Really yeah. looking forward to it. Oh, Glad mate, you're here, I'm mate. So Glad so you're here. So we just snuck down to the winery in the middle of the night to taste all the goodness. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing some samples on the test in the test in the wine. See how much I don't know. I'll explain all this later. But we're seeing how much sugar's left because that gives you an indication of what the yeast is doing, how the fermentation's going, and what the alcohol content is likely to be. So and Liz is Liz is working on it. I'm too wine tester.